Okay, there we go again. Okay, let's get this started. Hello, everybody. It's I, Jeff Dick Runescape 4. I had to go back and once again re edit my stream settings, even though I had everything set perfectly. And it's weird because when I go, I re refresh the page th three times, and it said, Blast from the Past, Army Men, Green Rogue. I checked on my thing here. It said, Blast from the Past, Army Men, Green Rogue. I go to live stream, and it says, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, New Zombie Map. Why? Twitch, get your shit together. And then when I share the link to my social media, it says I'm playing Blast from the Past Super Mario 64. Get your shit together, Twitch. Come on. You should have this stuff figured out by now. You've been not only a streaming platform for how long? Anyways, hello everybody. It is I, RuneScape Far 1995, or RuneScape Far Productions, or Jeffrey Dake of RuneScape Far Productions. And today we are playing a standalone game in the Army Men franchise. There is a lot of them that they never really made a sequel to. The only ones I know they made a sequel to were the World War II series, Army Men, Sergeant Heroes 1 and 2, and Army Men Air Attack 1 and 2. So, today, we are playing, bring out the disc, The Green Rogue. I got this at either V-Stock or, uh, actually no, I, come, I think I got this off of Amazon, actually. And it is for the PS1, 
And I gotta say, I grew up with the 3DO games on the Nintendo 64, and then when I saw they were on the PlayStation, I had to have them. And I don't regret that. I don't regret any of my games. Actually, I take that back. There are some games I do regret buying, but that's very few to none, almost. And my thing just fell off my computer. <laughs> uh, of course. So, Green Rogue is like a early version of Temple Run, if you remember that game and the hype it was. Or the Pitfall. So this came out, of course, 2001, all rights reserved, 3DO, Army Men, Green Rogue, Sergeant's Heroes, Warriors of Might and Magic. Oh, that gave, like, the whole list. Ooh. Green Army Advanced Weapons Lab. Ooh. All high techy. Green Army Advanced Research Division Special Operations. Project Omega Soldier. Hot Lab X9. So there we got General Grimm, I think was his name. I forgot how dark this was. Yep, Colonel Grimm. Mm. So we got Sarge there, um, Vic, Vic, uh, Scorch. Damn. Ooh. So basically they're extracting the plastic to make a super soldier from all of everybody like a chimera. So of course their blood's plastic. So basically it's a blood soldier. A soldier made of nothing but blood. Just think about that. Their blood's plastic. They're drawing their blood to make a new soldier. Kind of dark if you think about it. Interesting. So again, this is a running gun kind of game. So let's go to the boot camp because it's been forever since I played this game. And it never hurts to have a good refresher. Welcome to boot camp. So as you see, it's kind of like that, but you actually do get some control on this. Okay, that's how you do that, okay. I think those are weapon upgrades there. Okay, yep, so now I got fully automatic weapons. So yeah, I say this is a standalone game because if you look at it compared to how all the other ones are ran, it's the only one I know of that's like this.
Yeah, grenades even suck on here. There we go. So, like, in... I don't understand why they didn't go like this before, but, like, even the old army men games, you know, the grenade would have to go back and forth, back and forth, and then this one, they say, you know what, it's just gonna go forth and stay there. Of course, aiming is atrocious here. I don't remember if you even get any other weapons besides this and the grenades. I just love these exploding barrels and boot camp don't kill me. I just, I just love it. The grenade just sits on top of it like it's nothing. Okay, yeah, so I can't use the vehicles. There we go. Mission complete. Okay, there we go. That, that wasn't hard. So, of course, they didn't tell me how to use the special power-up or anything. Okay, Omega. Here we go. You know, it's interesting. Who thought they could uh, make a video game based off a action figure line? Of just molded plastic that you really can't do nothing with except for use your imagination. Agent Cobra Blue reporting. Blue Spy. Escorted by two vipers. Ooh. Ooh, dogfight in the air. I love that they use fireworks as rockets. <laughs> Yeah, of course it didn't blow up the one with our hero in it. The Omega. Kaboom! Operation Intercept Phase 2. A Company, proceed to crash site and secure Omega Project Cargo. B Company, advance to Sector G-49er and engage all enemy forces. Okay, I don't know who he is. He's not Plastro. He's new. There we go.
Nah. Okay, why do they play? I wonder why they're playing such sinister music. It's weird. That's the music you would play when you're introducing a bad guy. Or the villain. Oh, okay. He's having the visions of the heroes. Sarge. Interesting. Okay, so he's, um, uh, he's the Hulk, basically. <laughs> Big and green and angry. I don't think I actually stand around and watch the video. Okay, so he has a pistol that we'll never, ever, ever use. And an M60 that I don't think we ever, ever use. Unless that's actually our primary weapon, in which case it makes no sense because it starts off semi-automatic. And like machine guns, uh, you wouldn't think of them as semi-automatic. And it was nighttime, but now it's daytime. And of course, we're on a beach. Oh, nope, can't go that way. As you can guess, aiming is fructocious in here. Okay, I took some damage. Can you really blame me? I mean, look at this. Yeah, that's... Like I said, there, there are very few games I regret buying. This is one of them. <laughs> I, it's just the gameplay is so awful. Can I blow that up? Nope, okay. Oh, okay, we got attack helicopters over us now. And dodging is just hard. It's basically running the opposite direction and then try to run back and shoot and... Not, not, not the greatest game from 3DO. Again, thankfully this was a standalone game. They didn't make any more like this that I know of. Yeah, crap, I'm already almost dead. And, like, I don't see any health anywhere whatsoever. So, basically, every button other than X will, um... Oh, there's health. Any button other than X will actually just change your weapons. Okay. And this, this is just utter chaos, is what this is. Kaboom. So yeah, they actually do want you to use grenades here. Again, the aiming is just suck. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Okay, dokey. Uh, there's not even a... Uh, okay, thank God there's not a health kit, but, uh... I don't even see a freaking weapon upgrade here. You know, I feel like there should be a weapon upgrade about right now. And, like, what's with all the destructible objects here? That really makes no sense. You gotta blow up trees to get through them? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So I can't even... Wow, that, that's just really bad game design there, 3DO. Oh, at least now I can actually just hold down X. You know, that's like really the only true way to beat this game. No! Crap. So yeah, if you die, you also lose your weapon upgrades. Yeah, this is just... This is god-awful. The hell is that? Oh, I think that's like invincibility or something. Okay, yeah, so that... Thunderbolts are invincibility. Gee, why isn't that mentioned in the boot camp? Oh, hey, a perfect and extra life. I'm gonna need a lot of those. Oh, great, so now we got grenaders. Because, you know, random guys shooting in random directions just isn't enough anymore. We need people throwing grenades. Yeah, so, this, again, this is just one of those games that I kind of regret buying now. I wanted to complete my army men collection, but now that I have it, I regret it. There we go. Oh, yeah, so now I can't see him anywhere. Hmm. Then this it feels like it, this game will just go on and on and on. Let's see if this actually kills him. Yep, there we go. Jesus Christ. Look, this... Again. That is just... It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, finally. Yeah, as you can see, it's, again, not the greatest. Green Star for playing without dying. Wow. Haas 00312. Awesome, thank you. I don't know why that showed up, though. Um, he subscribed to me a while back ago. Or... Similar account, different name. 
Nah, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna continue. Oh no, we don't we don't wanna save. No. Okay. Tropical Dunes. Ooh. Level level two. Yeah, yeah, it looks almost exactly the same. Except I got one life now and low health already. What a great start. Oh, perfect. A grenade upgrade. There's nothing I love more than using the shitty grenades. I don't know how that guy did a rollover. But I want to learn how to do that. Okay, yeah, so again, aiming mechanics, not the greatest. Ooh, I finally get a... Jesus Christ. Okay, so even if I'm so far off the screen where I can't even see him anymore... They can still kill me with deadly accuracy. And of course, once this happens, game over. You got to start the game all over from the get-go. I don't know what they were thinking including this in this type of game. When its predecessor, Army Men Sarge's Heroes, Sarge's Heroes 2 for the Nintendo 64, Army Men Air Attack would just have you restart that level. Not the entire game. That's shit something Game Boys would do. And even then, Game Boys went back and said, You know what? We should actually include this feature on all of our newer games. And a lot of them did. But... I don't know why they would make that happen. So let's take a look at some options here. So we got Controller 1, Configuration. So let's see. Let's see. Right bumper, left bumper is... Bio strike. Uh, square, triangle, circle is to cycle the weapons. And X is the fire. Oh, I didn't even know there was vibrations. That's odd that that, that was turned off by default. Uh, let's see. View movies. Warriors of Might and Magic. Okay, these are trailers. Okay, let's, let's watch some of these old trailers. 3DO. I always love that. 3DO. This is Bravo Leader 1. Do you copy? The portal should be just across that field. You ready? How about you, man? Let's turn on the brood machine. Riff. Blue Spy. Vicky. Okay. Stop those rockets on your own. I'm going after that helicopter. Do you want to play Sergeant Hawk? Yeah, this is very weird compared to uh video game commercials of now. Coming to PlayStation soon to PlayStation 2. Wow, okay, that, that was horrible. <laughs> okay, let's see what Warriors of Might and Magic is. I've actually, I've heard of this, but never played it. Ooh, necromancy. Oh, 
Wait, was not the blue spy just different hair and outfit and time period, I guess? So I guess they recycled a lot of skins. Warriors of Might and Magic. Huh. That actually does look really interesting. And it's weird that I saw you know, that's on there. Let's see. Let's take a look at the credits. Executive producer, Kelly Turner. Senior producer, Perry Rogers. Uh, director, Tim Page. Programmers, Robert Lamb. Steve Miner. Okay, well, I'm not a... Uh, not a lot of people worked on this. Uh, Joy Ellert, artist, uh, Julianne Stewart, Ted Hagler, John Duad, Britt Johnson, audio. Usually when you look at games now, that list is like a huge chunk of names. Ron Fish, John Baker, Brian Min, Jim Cunnings, Andy Geller. Okay, testers, James Barons. Okay, there was a lot of... Okay, that, that is a lot of testers there. Um, why didn't you guys speak up and say, Hey, this game sucks. Uh, we need to really work on this compared to every other 3DO game you guys made in the Army Men franchise. But wow, that, that, that is not a lot of people working on this project. That's interesting. So I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, there... Why do I have two audios on? There we go. Don't, don't know why that's there. Uh, hang on a second. Let me... There we go. Much better. So, I don't know why so many... Or not many people didn't even work on this. I guess this was more like a filler game. Let's see. Scores. Hunter S. Hank. Oh, S. Hawk. Riff. C. Grim, Mr. X, Sharp, Scorch, Plastro, Thick, Hoover. So, uh, I guess these were all from the beta testers? Because I don't... Well, C. Grim, Colonel Grim, Hunter, Us Hawk with, uh... No, I got, I'm actually surprised Hoover got 5,000 points, or 50,000 points. He's the minesweeper who's scared of bullets. Uh, thick, uh, that. Player, two players. Uh, glory. Okay, yeah. Huh. So, yeah, that's basically a green rogue. Now, let's actually take a look here at... I'm going to do something I don't normally do. Because I want you guys to pick out the next game I play on the PlayStation. So, let's actually take a look at some of my PlayStation 2 games here. Because I should have everything on memory still. Let's see what I got here. I got, uh, Adventure. Okay, that's Crash Bandicoot. Uh, which one is that, though? Who knows? Uh, ATV, Call of Duty, or Conflict Desert from Vietnam, Bond. I got a lot of, I'll post them on my MeWe. Guys, follow me on MeWe. You guys can vote there for which game you want me to play next. But as always, have a nice day. Live love and game on.